Say something. But, uh oh. Hi, I'm I'm Nigel. I'm a mutant human koala hybrid. And what exactly is your story? Well, I uh, gained notoriety by starring in this year's big horror film, The Madhouse. <laughs> And since then, I assume you've been living lavishly, am I correct? Well, no, actually. Well, uh, due to my appearance, I guess the producers saw an opportunity to uh, portray me as a monster in the film. And now people tend to avoid me like the plague wherever I go. Ask any of my friends who knew me. I'm a nice guy. I was president of high school drama club. Graduated top of my class. I got awarded a scholarship to a prestigious university. Currently a freshman here at the University of Miami. In the fall, I was having a great time. I was making lots of friends. Going out all the time. But in January, when the movie released, I, my friends stopped returning my calls. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. James Peter Schmidt. Did I say that right? Oh god, it's still recording. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Uh, hey James, it's uh, me, Nigel. Uh, I was just uh, wondering if you wanted to go down to the dining hall and grab a bite to eat sometime. I, I know the last time you went, uh, you got food poisoning, but I heard they have a new chef and everything's good now. Well, anyways... Have a good night, man. <laughs> and what about Emily? Really, man? You wanna go there? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. I'm just asking a question. Fine, you wanna talk about Emily? Let's talk about Emily. Emily's my, uh, ex-girlfriend. We were high school sweethearts. Went to prom together in a nice limo. We played Peter Pan and Wendy in the high school senior show. We even got chewed out by her dad for being out past curfew together. All the normal high school stuff. We even went to the same college together. Though shortly after the release of the film, things changed. She told me she started seeing uh, someone else. A regular human. I presume. <laughs> it's just so hard sometimes. Emily, if you're out there, just know that I miss the heck out of you, baby. And I love you. Jeez, ever heard of moving on, Nigel? Actually, no. But what I have heard of is revenge. Which is why today I'm planning on confronting the head of Imagination Studios. Why the head of the studio? I've long believed that he interfered with the final cut of the film. And he made me out to be more of a monster than the director intended. If anything's gonna bring me happiness, it's bringing him down. So, you run a pretty successful studio? Yeah, I do. Proud to report that Imagination Studios hasn't had a flop in 15 years. We know what the audience wants, and we give it to them. Simple as that. And what kinds of films do you specialize in here? Horror movies. You see, it all comes down to a simple formula. Monsters need to be both threatening and impure to be scary. <laughs> Good evening. We have just turned from Monsters University. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes, and what did you think of Monsters University? I have very, very mixed feelings. I, on the other hand, I loved Monsters University so much, I even enrolled. I, I can't really explain everything I thought was wrong with the movie, but like I said, I did enjoy it. 
It's easier to get the references and the jokes and stuff having seen the original. We approve Monsters University. If you saw a guy in the street and he just looked threatening, you might want to pick a fight with him. If you saw another guy on the street and he just looked impure, you might just look the other way. But if you see a guy on the street who's both threatening and impure, you're gonna be sh in your fucking pants. You ever stop to think about how those threatening and impure people feel? No. No, I don't. Ah! Ah! Nigel, what are you doing here? I'm here for answers. Answers to what? Why the Madhouse made a killing at the box office? I'll tell you why, Nigel. It's because here at Imagination Studios, we have a formula and we like to stick to it. I want to know why you lied to me. Nigel, please! You told me that I was going to be portrayed as a hero. That all those low angle shots were reactions to the human that was chasing me. So I changed the story a little bit in editing. Who doesn't? It's part of the business, my friend. What about losing all my friends, the love of my life, and my dignity all in one fell swoop? Is that part of the business too? Come on, Nigel. You're never going to be the hero in anyone's story. You're a monster, Nigel. You're both threatening and impure. There's no denying it. People are scared of you, and they should be. You're terrifying. So what if I exploit that to give you fame and myself money? It's just the way the world works. But it's not the way it needs to. It doesn't matter what I look like or how I was born. I had friends. I had a good life. And you took that away from me. Nigel, what you had was an illusion. This is the real world. Get that through your head. The way people react to you on screen is the way people are programmed to see you. Don't look at me. It's just basic science. God damn it, my assistant f***ed up my desk once again. <sighs> Fuck you, no! What the hell are you doing? I'm calling the police! Yes, hello, Sergeant? Yeah, 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 your, your co-worker is my father. Anyway, come on, come on, I have a, a koala here, he's a monster, and he's hitting me with a baseball bat! I'm taking my life back, what gives you the right to take away everything I ever had? Because I was once like you! That's right, I too was a mutant human koala hybrid. I was treated okay growing up, but when I got to college, things started to change. I was neglected, ostracized. These weren't the same kids I grew up with. This was the real world. And I finally learned how the real world saw people like me. As a monster, threatening and impure, no more, no less. I got plastic surgery to look normal, but I'm never gonna feel normal. So why do this? Why exploit me if you know what it's like? Because I figure, people like you and me, we're gonna be ridiculed no matter what. Might as well make some money out of it. Noel, I understand you went through hell looking like me, but that was your experience, not mine. It's the 21st century. People were willing to accept me until your movie told them not to! Oh, that does it! Come on, come on! Hey, Emmy PD! You in the suit! Hands in the air! But there's a monster right there! He's a koala! As far as I'm concerned, the guy holding the bat is the real monster. Oh my god, but, but he's threatening and impure! Save it for the judge. Come on, he's a fucking koala! Stupid! Holy sh! And that's how I became the head of Imagination Studios. I recut the film, made my co-star the monster, and I got my friends in life back. And what about Emily? Oh, uh, Emily wouldn't take me back. She said she was more into mutant polar bear human hybrids. As far as I'm concerned, she's the real monster. I don't know the next line at all. This way at the end though, it's like a whole different energy. It's the one where it's like the final line. And that's it. You see, we have a simple formula. <laughs> Something has to be both. As far as I'm concerned, the guy where the that is the real monster. Hands in the air. <laughs>